D-Miner here. We're in Northern Ontario. We, Daisy, my dog, and I. And we're going to do some exploring. Check out some new sites I've never been to before and see if we can't get some rocks. So come join me. I think we're going to have some fun. So let's go in the truck. Kettle. Here's an old abandoned building. The foundation is still here. Let's go take a look. They didn't build it for nothing. Almost a bluish tinge to that, but the red is iron. There's some quartz. Lots of rock, no crystals. Oh, is that shiny? Almost would be a good cool. rock to cut and put in a rock tumbler. I think we'll move on. We can always come back, maybe try a metal detector. This is a large barite mine. Stay here. Get back, Dave. Get back. Of course, this is the trench, but it's outstanding. What do you think of that, eh? The amount of work these guys did. Here's some of the rock. I think this scene was mining barite and calcite. See anything? I was told by somebody who's been to this mine that the way to find the big pieces of barite is by weight. Barite is really heavy, so look for really heavy rocks. That looks like magnetite, a bit of jasper, and hematite. I tried to go crystally. You'll see stuff I should have collected. Put that in my pocket. I'm not seeing a lot of other stuff in this spot. Doesn't mean it's not here. I'll walk up further. Getting hot. Want to go in the water? We'll go over here. Go for a swim. That's a girl. Where you go? No limp when she's swimming. <laughs> Here's kind of a neat rock. You can see the seam of quartz and the red hematite. There's some kind of blue crystal right there. I see more blue. Take a walk around and see if we can find some more.
That might be nice to tumble and cut. We'll keep that. Here's a big rock dump. That might be good in a tumbler. There's copper stain on that one. Green. There's copper in that rock as well. A little bit, anyway. Oh, now this one's getting buggy. Let's look. A bug is a hole in the rock where sometimes crystals form. This bit right, right there. And more in that little bug. Let's look at this rock. There's a nice little bug right there. And there's a crack. Maybe I can break that because I wouldn't want to take the whole thing out. I've walked already well over a kilometer. Perfect. There's one sample. This one has this piece in here. Yeah, it's more up in that end. Hmm. Well, leave it for somebody else. I'm not normally one to complain. But we had to get out of those mine dumps. It was just too hot. So we're sitting in the shade, having some meat snacks, a little bit of water, and uh, then we'll go see if we can find the end of that trench. I'd love to be able to be down below and look up it, because that was spectacular. And then we'll call it a day. That's the bottom of the trench. It cuts down here. Well, here's another old mining road. You can sure tell it's mining, because there's some drill core. the rocks. This is a washout, so it probably hasn't been completely picked over. That'd be nice for dumpling maybe. What else we got? A little piece of quartz. Take that. Gone kind of smoky. Looks like it has some color inside, but it's dirty. We'll put that in our pocket. The world's smallest toad. Here he goes. There's lots of bugs, he'll get big fast. Quartz with hematite. 
I wonder how that would tumble. Lots of rock, no crystals. <laughs>